Oh, hi, Ted. Oh, hey, Audrey. Hi. Did your ball land in my backyard again? <laughs> what? No. A model airplane, this time. <laughs> hey, do you want to see something cool? Well, come on. Did you... did you paint this? Do you like it? What? Are you kidding? This is amazing! What are those? Those are trees. Real ones. They used to grow all around here. And people said that the touch of their tufts was softer than anything, even silk. And they smelled like butterfly milk. Wow. What does that even mean? I know, right? <gasps> ah! Oh, yeah. What I want more than anything in the whole world is to see a real living tree growing in my backyard. So if, say, I'm just thinking out loud here, if a guy somehow got you one... Well, I'd probably marry him on the spot. I bet that sounds crazy. Does that sound crazy? No, not crazy. <clears throat> not crazy at all. Ted, honey, don't play with your food. You either, Mom. So, Mom, do you happen to know if there's, like, any place where I could get a real tree? Ted, we already have a tree. It's the latest model. Yeah, but I mean, like, a, a real one that, that grows out of the, the ground or whatever. You know, like, a real tree. Really? You'd rather have some dirty, messy lump of wood that just sticks out of the ground and it does what? I don't even know what it does. What's its purpose? Look at what we've got. It's the Oakomatic, the only tree with its own remote. Summer, autumn, winter, and disco. Come on, Ted, get into it. Dance with the tree. Oh, it hurts, Mom. Please stop. So, anyway, let's just say I need a tree. Where would I go? What do I do? Oh, then you know what? You'd need to find the Wansler. The, the what? Mom, it's not really the time for any, uh, you know, magical fables, okay? Oh, that's right. I forgot. I'm old and can't even remember to put my teeth in. Stand down. That's not what I meant. No, really, I forgot my teeth. Would you be a dear and go get them for me? <sighs> Sure, Mom. Okay, here's the deal. The Wansler is the man who knows what happened to the trees. You want one, you need to find him. The Wansler? Mm-hmm. Okay. Grammy, is this a real thing that we're talking about now? Oh, he's real, all right. Well, where can I find him? Ah! <laughs> ah. Far outside of town where the grass never grows and the wind smells so and sour when it blows. <laughs> and no birds ever sing excepting old crows. <laughs> Quit doing that. That's the place where the Wunsler lives. Wait, outside of town? Hey! People used to say if you brought him 15 cents, a nail, and the shell of a great, great, great grandfather snail. He'd tell you everything.
Mr. O'Hare, what we've got for you is something that is going to take O'Hare air to the next level. Now, Mr. O'Hare, I know what you're thinking. One, I've gotten rich selling people air that's fresher than the sticky stuff outside. Two, and here's the important one, how can I possibly make even more money? <laughs> we can tell you, sir, we can tell you. Check out this commercial, huh? Well, here goes another lame Saturday. Dude, I don't think so. <laughs> huh? Hey. O'Hare Purified Air. Freshness to go. Please breathe responsibly. Huh? Oh, my goodness. Love it. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be kidding me. You really think people are stupid enough to buy this? Our oh. research shows that if you put something in a plastic bottle, people will buy it. Exactly. And, and what's more, when we build a new factory to make the plastic bottles, the air quality's just going to get worse. Which will make people want our air even more and drive sales where? Through the roof! So in other words, the more smog in the sky, <laughs> the more people will buy. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Gee, that's why he's the genius. It even rhymes. I'm aware it rhymes. <laughs> what do you two knuckleheads want? I'm in the middle of a meeting. What? Why is he leaving town? No one ever leaves town. See what he's up to.